Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is Andrew. I'm a 24-year-old non-binary queer person and um, welcome to my channel. Um, I'm gonna start uploading a lot more soon, but right now I'm just gonna get into exactly what I wanted to cover. And that is how to stop seeking permission. So first, what does it mean to seek permission? Seeking permission is when we hinge things that we wanna do in our lives on the approval of others or on external factors, right? So this can be anything. This can be your gender identity, this can be your queer identity, or you know whatever your sexual orientation is. Um, this can be a career path you might wanna follow. This can be a hobby you wanna get into, or art you wanna create, or um, a way that you wanna live your life, right? This can be anything. And it's when you are waiting, when you are holding off on doing something because you are waiting for somebody else to give you the permission to do so. And somebody else doesn't necessarily mean one monolithic, one perfect, one person. It could be a partner, it could be partners, it could be friends, it could be your parents, um, it could be your uh, colleagues, it could be people around you. It could be anybody that you're waiting on that you're worried about the judgment of. I think that seeking for permission comes from a place of fear a lot of the time. For example, when I first figured out that I was transgender and later on again when I found out I was non-binary and I kind of explored my identity, there were many times in the beginning of those stages where I was like, I don't know if I can do this because I don't know how everyone else is gonna react. I don't know how my job is gonna react. I don't know how the military is gonna react because I was in the military at the time. I don't know how my friends are gonna treat me. I don't know how the person I'm dating is gonna even respond to what I'm doing. And I spent all this time with this, this fear growing in me and I waited and I waited and I was, I was miserable. I was just miserable waiting, waiting for somebody to say yes. And even as I got into my transition, when I would go out and I would feel as though I passed, you know, or I appeared as though I was the actual gender identified as, which doesn't really apply anymore because I'm non-binary and people don't read that. But um, even when I did get qualifiers, even when somebody did qualify me and say, oh yeah, when they did validate me and say, yeah, I see you, you know, or use even the most simple word, the right pronouns or something like that, and I'd get this feeling of, you know, a good feeling because it feels good to be recognized, but then I kind of relied on that feeling. And this sort of external validation kind of became, I won't say like a drug, but in a way became kind of an addictive thing. I constantly wanted a yes. I wanted people to say, yes, you are who you are. Yes, you can do what you want. Yes, you can identify you want to identify. And then years later, after doing this for so long, I realized I'm somebody who has come so far, but I'm still reliant on the approval of others, right? So I was still seeking permission, and even up until the last year, I was kind of in that place, and I started having to dig myself out, right? So there are three main things with this, with this fear, with seeking permission, that I think are important. The first one is that if you are always waiting for a yes, if you are always waiting for some form of approval, you will always be waiting for some form of approval. You don't reach a point where you're like, Will you say yes to me? Will you say yes to me? Will you say yes to me? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, now I can say yes to myself moving forward. No, if you if you rely on somebody else to give you that good feeling, that 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 motivator to move forward, you will always be relying on that motivator because you're not teaching yourself how to self-motivate. You're not teaching yourself how to rely on your own yes, right? And then this kind of ties into my second point, which is when you are reliant on others, you are putting the responsibility of your life, your one unique, perfect, precious life in their hands. And when it's in somebody else's hands, you have to know that they're not as invested in it as you could be. They don't have the capacity because they have their own investments. They have their own life going on. They need to invest completely in themselves. So you put the, this, this beautiful, perfect, wonderful thing in somebody else's hands and they don't have the tools to give you exactly what you want because you have the tools. You're the only one with the tools for your life, right? And this all kind of ties into kind of, this is something I've heard my entire life, but you know, sometimes it takes a lot of life experience to really understand what something means. And it's, if you could be successful at anything, anything, if you could wake up today and create the exact art you wanted to create, or maybe if you could transition perfectly, um, exactly what you wanted to do, the exact type of transition you want, you know, everyone responded the exact right way. Um, if you could, go out, pursue any job, and it would always be a success, what would you do? If you didn't have all those fears and all those concerns, and if you could block that out for five minutes, what are all the things that you would wanna do with yourself and your life? 
and does that seem like a better way to live than where you're at right now? And if it is, how do you start making that change today and how do you say yes to yourself today? I think that the easiest step to take after considering these things is to find one thing that you can do right now. You're not waiting on anybody for it. You may not even share it with anybody else. You just take one step in the right direction. Just take that first step and then maybe in a couple days try again, right? Um, we kind of develop this need for people to approve us because we live in different social settings and we experience different social interactions that can be negative if we're not receiving social approval. So seeking permission is both something we're socialized with and something we still have to work out of regardless. So when you take small steps towards giving yourself your own yes, saying, I give myself permission to be who I am today and to follow the path I want to follow, it's going to be hard, it's going to be uncomfortable, and it's not going to be easy because you've been conditioned your entire life to do things that other people are going to approve of. And even now in this day and age with technology, and with social media being such a present part of our everyday lives, we're always waiting for somebody to approve of what we're doing. You know, we're waiting for the likes, we want the follows, we want the comments, you know. We want people to like want to know us even though we're just sharing a portion of our lives, right? So you've been conditioned to, to want that validation, but when you start reconditioning yourself to validate yourself, I think that the opportunity in that is so enormous and the the payoff is so much, so much more incredible. I know that even in times of my life where I have been scared out of my mind because of what I was doing, which I'm at a time in my life right now where I'm, I'm at that very place. Scared of my mind, afraid of the future, afraid of being successful, afraid of doing every single thing wrong because I'm not doing anything anyone wants me to do. It's also given me the room to understand myself deeper to become more clear on what path I want to follow and to feel more like where I am inside matches the rest of everything around me. And to me, that has become the most harmonizing and fulfilling experience. Even if I'm not doing everything perfectly, if I know that I am on my path and I'm taking everything in here and I'm trying to do what I can to bring it out here and to match it, I feel good. I feel like I've done something and not done something in a productive sense of I have accomplished X number of tasks, but done something in the sense of I fulfilled a portion of my soul today, if that makes sense. All right. And it doesn't always have to be that deep. That's just where I am and that's how I view the world. Try not to seek permission. Recognize when you are seeking permission and learn how to give yourself permission. Cool. Thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe. I'm be trying to come out with a lot more videos, a lot more content. Um, a lot more regular. Um, I'm at a point in my life where I can kind of do that now and I'm really excited about it. Like, comment, ask questions. Uh, if you need anything, if you want anything covered, let me know, let me know, let me know, let me know. Thanks for watching.